Yo, let's do this. Leon Trotsky once said, step up, step up. Uh, We have attempted to examine the Soviet regime and the cross-section of currency. These two problems, state and money, have a number of traits in common, for they both reduce themselves in the last analysis to the problem of problems, productivity of labor. I'm going to tell you a story today, and you're not going to believe a single word of it. But I swear it's true. I swear to it in court, and I'll swear to it before you today. Before you, before God, before the judge. God, it seems like so long ago that everything began. We all seem so young and innocent. It's like a story in Genesis about Adam and Eve, the forbidden fruit. Only our fruit wasn't an apple. Our fruit was drugs. So Tensions in the IBJ family were very high. We were working on our latest rap video, and we could never agree on anything. I was stressed out. Keith! Big K, get your ass over here. The hell do you want? You're not gonna do you want? the shot. Why, why, why can't I do the shot? The shot's not gonna work. I can do it! You cannot get the shot. I can't work on this. What do you need then? Do you have any more IBJ? Not, dude. You, you've already gone through three kilos today. How much freaking more do you need? Just let me film it! Film the shot. Film fine, it. okay, go. fine. The producer. And by producer, of course, we did not mean the producer of our rap video, but rather, the man who was responsible, the Russian who bought all of our drugs. We were all in the room that day to make sure the deal was safe. There was T. Riddy, the hired thug. Pure Colombian IBJ, hootie hoo. Big K style handling all the PR, and Dr. Stay, who had to be there to make sure everything went smoothly. And then, of course, there was the producer. The drug in question is a special compound called IBJ, Iberium barium gelosamine. People thought that IBJ was just the name of our independent rap cooperative, but they did not understand the true meaning of the name. It was a special drug indeed, and it sold well. The drug came in a powdered white form. Easy to deal, looked like cocaine. But, unfortunately, it was very costly to everyone who bought it, because of the natural high it produced. Briefcases and briefcases full of money came into the IBJ studio. And it was shocking. We couldn't believe how much money we were into. But, like with every other business venture, every now and again, something goes wrong. That was the end. They freaked out. All of them. Not sure what was going to happen within the next three minutes. And then suddenly, out of nowhere. Man, what the hell are you doing trying to pull a gun on me, man? I don't take that over here. Man, get back one bus and cap in your ass. Pop, pop. Bust a shot, yeah, you. Uh, yeah. And that was about the end of the producer. IBJ was still selling strong. We had more money than we could even count. Your deal ready? Show up, Negro! So the cards were dealt, the money and guns were on the table, and everything was all good to go. 
we were all anxious to begin our dealing so we can make even more money Smoke than the ridiculous amount the we used to fall blazing. asleep on every we night. got some hoes that are half Malaysian. Put on my pants and bust up my arms. Get off me, bitch. Dangerous. And, and the very, very, very smart. We got some fly ass beats oh, that are gonna kill. So we pop the We got enough. We cruise the strip. And I see this fool who's giving me lip. I said, oh, no. boy, you one way I want some numbers. Honky. Got out my rod and I spanked him like a donkey. Well, Coming through so smooth. You know. The hate is better move. When you hey, stuck to our crew, you you're always gonna lose. 13 the bags. Fan, don't That's 57 no kilos of pure. Between us, the Zyre connection, the Ethiopian connection, the Safety Harlem ghetto, Pee Wee Herman, and the football team of Clearwater High School. That'll last us about a billion weeks. Smoking on the chronic, so grab a nappy hoe and start some bread and more cheese than we ever man Giving hoes a ride and cheese and crack us for the rest of our life We got so much cheese Break your leg, swallow a keg In the name of this song is the chronic leg Speaking on behalf of Fat Matt, I agree to handle all the distribution That way these guys won't have to get their hands dirty We wanted to bring in other people, but we didn't trust anybody at all And rightfully so we were also drug users. I said I would do it, and I got up that day, and I did it. The whole deal was my idea. Another one of the joys of IBJ, besides the fact that it could get you high without you having to smoke it or snort it or ingest it at all, was the fact that IBJ was the world's greatest aphrodisiac. More intoxicating than cocaine. More relaxing than marijuana. You know, baby, have you ever heard of IBJ? We had the perfect hybrid. Well, I was one of the founders. You want some coke? Oh, really? Some of us took advantage of it. The next day was quite eventful. Fat Matt had slept right through our big deal. I couldn't believe he would do me like that. What up, Nick Tank? Yeah? I'm kind of busy. Yeah. Yeah, with the girl. Yeah, okay. Yeah, alright. Yeah, yeah. Alright baby, I have to go to work. I love you baby. Along with being addicted to 47 different controlled substances, Fat Man had an upholstery fetish. I was extremely pissed off that he slept through the deal. I couldn't believe he would do me like that. I demanded to know who he was working for behind my back. I ain't talking. Now I tell you what you're taking it for. You probably didn't know. So young, let me tell you. Total darkness washed over me then. Let's get the hell out of here. It's true, everything they say on the news about drug deals. You make lots of enemies, you make some friends, but mostly just a lot of death. A lot of blood splattered on walls, and a lot of people walking around in shame. And as it turns out, Fat Matt, Big Hay Style, Dr. Stay, Pee Wee Herman, and the entire football team of Clearwater High School were all plotting against me. He ordered my death. I wish my friends wouldn't have betrayed me. Leon Trotsky once said, We have attempted to examine the Soviet regime in the cross-section of currency. These two problems, state and money, have a number of traits in common, but they both reduce themselves in the last analysis to the problem of problems. Productivity of labor. <laughs>